This video is going to be about where I work, New Garden Flying Field, Tough Kenneman, PA, New Garden Township. So a few months ago, we started a maintenance facility underneath the umbrella of the Aviation Center. Today, we're gonna to go inside, have a look around, and check out the airplanes and what's going on inside. Welcome to the shop. We've got some really cool airplanes to check out today. Uh, we have a Russian Beriev. It's one of three in the States. It's in here for an annual inspection before it goes to California. It's recently been sold. We have an RV behind me and then an SNJ for a Sky Beacon install and ADSB solution. Let's go have a look around. Here's my 1940s vintage Clarkster tug. We utilize this a lot here at the, uh, the airport to move aircraft around, especially at air show time. Uh, this thing's pulled B-25s, Wildcats, T-6s, Cessas and Pipers. Uh, it's, it's been a great addition here uh, to the airport. I actually uh, went out to Cleveland and uh, purchased this out of, uh, from a, a private individual who had it, just drove it around his development. It was white when I got it, took it apart, restored it, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So one thing that we've been doing a lot of here in the maintenance shop are Sky Beacon installs. Uh, it's an ADSB solution. It replaces the existing left uh, nav light uh, with a, uh, a Sky Beacon TSO unit, and you are ADSB compliant for January 1st, 2020. Uh, in the shop, we have a SNJ uh, for an install, so we're going to go through the install, show you the process. It's super simple. The paperwork takes longer than the install most of the times, uh, but this is a pretty unique aircraft uh, for this installation. We're excited to have it here in the shop. All right, so unboxing the uh, Sky Beacon is pretty simple. It comes with the unit itself, a neat little Uavionics sticker, a package of connectors, some mounting hardware. Certificate of Conformance sticker, which you need for the logbook, your SSID and your password to log into it to do the programming, and another sticker for your logbook. Alongside of the paperwork, you'll get a packet back from us with the flight procedure to follow. Uh, we will do a ground check uh, with our new uh, ground station uh, testing equipment that we have for the, uh, for the Sky Beacon. But let's go ahead and uh, take the other one off, get this one installed.
Sometimes things don't go as planned, and that is the case here on this SNJ. The rib nuts holding the nav uh, light, the existing nav light in place, are uh, spinning. So the whole wingtip's gonna have to come off so we can get to the back side to get the old nav light out to put the sky beacon in. This one's gonna take a little extra work. Most of the time the nav lights are held in with three machine screws into nut plates on the wingtip. Unfortunately, this one is not that way. Um, I had to pull the wingtip off because the screws actually have nuts on the back side. So, not a big deal. Actually, it works out fairly well. I got the wingtip, I can put it on my toolbox and uh, do uh, the mounting off the aircraft and then we'll put the wingtip back on uh, the aircraft. So, not bad at all. Just uh, one little extra step. Okay, so per the uh, U-Avionics uh, installation manual, uh, you have to use their mounting hardware, uh, but they have a great packaged uh, uh, set of hardware for the installation. Each screw, you have to put two O-ring washers on, and that seals the, uh, the unit once it's compressed and tightened up. That seals the, uh, the screw heads from any moisture getting uh, into, the, uh, into the nav light here. And of course, I just dropped one. The other thing that's included with the kit are these terminal wire terminal splices, where you splice the wire in after you crimp it, uh, you use a heat gun to uh, uh, to heat up the heat shrink, and that seals around the wire uh, very nicely. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, put on, get that wing tip put back on the aircraft, do the paperwork, and uh, kick this thing out of the hangar. Good to go here. Um, I use a, a multimeter just to check to confirm that we have proper voltage at the wingtip before I actually in, uh, install the unit. So the next step is to program it using the Sky Beacon app on your iPad, which I have it already linked into. And then we also have a uh, aircraft uh, ramp tester made by Sun Avionics that allow us to really tap into the unit as well as a transponder so we can make sure that this uh, unit will work for the customer when it leaves here. Finishing up the install of our uh, UAVionic Sky Beacon on this beautiful SNJ behind me. Everything tested out perfectly. Utilized our new uh, ramp tester from Sun Avionics uh, that we got out at Oshkosh this year. It worked flawlessly. Now, inside to do the remainder of the paperwork, the logbook endorsements, and this customer will be compliant for 2020.